so recently I've been hearing a lot of men come through saying that, hey, I'm starting to get a lot of hey, big head texts and, you know, my ex wants me back and all of these women are flooding me and chasing me down now. And I want to give you all some insight, okay, as far as why that may be happening. In today's quick little easy dope discussion, I actually want to dive into three crazy reasons why, you know, women do chase a man. Um, outside of what I talked about in our live dope discussion, I want to talk about, you know, some slightly, how can I put it, bizarre reasons why, you know, women chase men that are out of the norm, things that you probably wouldn't even put your finger on to be like, oh, really? Is that it? <laughs> Is that even a thing? And it's like, yes. So without further ado, you all, let's hop into this list. But before we do, y'all go ahead and take this time out to like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And most importantly, make sure that you all are hitting the notification bell. That way you all can be alerted for future dope discussions, okay? Now, the first reason, fellas, why, okay? The first crazy reason why. Maybe, just maybe, you know, the women are chasing up behind you now or your ex is trying to get you back and all of that. Is because maybe you have what we like to call big D energy, right? Now, I know some of y'all can be confused, like, wait a minute, what is that? Is that even a thing? Please explain. Well, I'm going to explain, okay? And again, y'all like the video. As you elevate, fellas, and you're evolving and growing and all of that, your essence can also elevate, evolve, and grow along with you to where maybe now you are possessing a certain air about yourself that is giving off a very masculine frame, if you will, or is giving off uh, an energy of, you know, I am a successful man, a productive man, a wise man. You know, I am the man. And when you're carrying around that type of energy, a lot of women could have it in their minds like, you know what? He might be. Hmm. And, I, and I know this can be a little bit raunchy, so bear with me. But it's like, hmm, not only... <sighs> Do I feel like he's a masculine, successful provider, protector type of man? But he probably has very good that. And, you know, he's probably very good in bed. And, you know, he, he's probably a good love maker. So that could very well be a reason why. You know, these women are chasing up behind you now. Like, you have big D energy. You know, let me take it a step further, okay? You have good D energy. You know, maybe it's the way that you walk into a room or maybe it's the way that you smell or maybe it's the way that you just carry yourself. Like, you just have the essence of a man that is a masculine man, uh, a providing, pr successful man, protecting man. And I just bet he has a really good conversation, you know? And I want to see what it's like. And so that could be a reason. Also, maybe you have a different glow to you, right? So she, she sees that you're just a nice looking man too on top of that maybe you have your teeth handy you know so not only do you have that big d energy and all of that and you looking good and you smelling good and you know you carry yourself like you just got it and you successful but maybe your skin is glowing right you you've taken the time out to make that investment 
as far as that skincare is concerned, right? So it could be all of that, fellas. And speaking of which, all right, <laughs> click that link down below and go ahead and cop that tea, Hanley, all right? All right. It, it is no secret that us women love a man that takes good care of himself appearance-wise as well, all right? And the way that you can absolutely level up your appearance is by making sure that your skin is smooth, you know, you don't have all of those wrinkles and pimples and potholes and craters in your skin. Like, you don't want that. So go and get your teeth, Hanley. But maybe you are a man that already understood the assignment. So you already got your teeth, Hanley. You don't know. It's so many different factors that can go into a man having that big D, good D energy. You know, it's a whole bunch of different things. But maybe, just maybe, sir, you possess that. You possess that big D energy, that good D energy to where it's like, man, I cannot put my finger on it, but I just feel like he got it. I just feel like, you know, I want him. Well, yeah, that's probably why, you know, and let me take it a step further and say this and y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Some of you guys out there, you've just always had the big D, good D energy. Even before you were successful, even before you had your life together, before you got your skincare in order, like you, you just always had that big D, good D energy, right? Some of you all were just naturally blessed, if you will, with that. And, you know, maybe before you've heard about this, okay, you couldn't really pinpoint what it was about you. Like, damn, like, even when I was broke and I didn't have a lot going on, like I would just be a magnet to women. What is that about? Maybe just maybe, sir, you had that essence to you. You had that energy to you. You know, it could be due to your personality. Um, maybe you're a very mysterious man. You know, it's oftentimes it's the, the laid back, chill, mysterious, um, confident to himself guy. It's usually those type that really, you know, carry around that big D, good D energy. So it doesn't even matter if you didn't even have the money yet. Like you just always possess that due to your character, you know. And on top of that, maybe you do look good. And on top of that, maybe you do smell good. And on top of that, maybe you do have a lot of charisma and, you know, all of those things tying into it. But nonetheless... You having that big D, good D energy could be a crazy reason why women are actually chasing you. And it has nothing to do with your success, your finances, you know, what you got going on. It's just you. It's just your energy. It's just your essence. And that is making those women chase you, you know. So y'all let me know. Like, can y'all relate to that? I know it's a lot of guys that, you know, maybe like oh you know what maybe i do have that because yeah before i was even you know popping like that you know i always had women throwing themselves at me or I always had women chasing up behind me you know so yeah maybe maybe that was it you know maybe that was it so y'all let me know if you can relate to that one but let's go ahead and move on to the second crazy reason why women could be chasing you okay let's get into it Okay, y'all. So another crazy reason why women chase men, and maybe you're being chased, is due to the fact that those women see other women that are attractive that want you. Let's not sleep on that. And again, y'all like the video share the video and subscribe. Women are very weird in that way. You know, females are very weird in that way to where we can become attracted to the guy that we see a lot of women want. And it's not just a lot of women want him, but 
in particular, and more specifically, it's the amount of attractive women that want him that could intrigue us or that could entice us and draw us to that man to where it's like, I got to have him. And the reason that is, and I got into that more into um, or on rather our live dope discussion that we had. But the reason behind that is because when it comes to women or females, they are very competitive and catty in nature, especially in regards to each other. And all of them want to be able to have that top position. They want to be able to have the bragging rights of I'm the baddest chick. And one of the ways that a woman could feel like she is the baddest chick or be able to display to other women that she's the baddest is by having the man that all the women want, all of the attractive women want. And the reason why I keep emphasizing attractive women is because when it comes to the attractive women, those are the ones that more than likely are going after a man um, due to not only him being a guy that may be a, a attractive man or you know, a guy that a lot of people would gravitate towards maybe because of his personality and stuff like that. But the attractive women, they feel like due to their ranking in society that they deserve or they need to be with the type of man that is well off, right? I need that successful man. I need that man that has money. I need that man that has stability and security. I need that man that has a lot going on for him because the type of woman that I am and where I rank, I have to have a man that could be complimentary, if you will, to that and actually back up my ranking or my status in society. So that could feed into a woman's mind that, hey, if he has a lot of attractive women checking for him, right? More than likely, he's the type of guy that could give me stability and security. More than likely, he's the type of guy that is successful, that has money and has things going on for himself. Because if he did not, those women that are ranking higher in society, quote unquote, if you will, they wouldn't even be checking for him. So, yeah, maybe just maybe he got it going on. You know, maybe also, you know, he has that good D, big D energy, you know? And so maybe that's why all of these attractive women, like all of that can factor into a woman wanting you, you know, or, or chasing you. I see that other women want you. And if they want you, then clearly you're the type of guy that a, that a woman needs in her life, you know? You're the type of man that could solidify a top spot ranking, right? You're the type of guy that could even boost up a, a woman's ranking. Because again, you are, if I'm able to obtain the guy that all the women want, including the attractive women, yeah, I must be that chick. I must be that girl. And the women are going to look at me as such because I was able to get the man that all of y'all wanted. But who did he choose? Me. <laughs> so that is really a reason why women could be chasing up behind you. Maybe your ex is seeing a lot of women that are attractive checking for you now or, you know, entertaining you now. And she wants in on it because it's like, well, damn, what did I miss out on? Why, why, why do they want him? Well, let me see if I can get him back, you know? You never know. It could be because other women are checking for you. Other attractive women are checking for you. Y'all let me know because y'all relate to that one as well. I know a lot of guys um, recently or in the past have told me like, damn, like these chicks, they were not even checking for me until they found out that I was talking to this chick over here or until I was married even. You know, and, and that's what it's that's what it's about. It's about being able to have the guy that is off limits, that uh, 
everybody wants um that is a challenge you know it's all of that um but y'all let me know have y'all noticed that when you start to get a lot of play from maybe more attractive women a lot of women started flocking to you or maybe your ex started trying to hate big head you again yeah well that's probably the reason why <laughs> But let's go ahead and hop into the last crazy reason why women chase men, okay? And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Okay, you all. Now, this very last reason may blow your mind as far as you know, a crazy reason why women are chasing you now or they chase men in general. The last reason, but certainly not the least, okay, why women chase men, the crazy reason why women chase men is because you don't want her. I know, I know. Y'all like, what? Yes. It's because you don't want her. How many of you guys could relate to that in and of itself? She waited until you started to ignore her. She waited until, you know, you no longer showed her interest or you were very dry and short with her. She waited until then to try to flirt with you or try to hang out with you or try to entertain you. It's because you pull back it's because you no longer show interest and what i say earlier sometimes it's that guy that is off limits right or that guy that presents a challenge to you that makes you want him that that intrigues you that entices a woman and draws and pulls her in right it's like oh my god like how dare he not want me how dare, you know, him lose interest in me? Like, what's going on? And the reason behind her chasing you because you don't want her, it could be due to the fact that, you know, it's coming off as though, and I know you all, this can be crazy, but it's coming off as though you have better options out there than her right and when it comes to women and it's, it it ties back into what i said for number two as far as her seeing other women wanting you right but when it comes to a lot of women females in general like if we feel as though somebody else could have the the position or if we feel as though we are losing out or missing out or we're not the one that is being chosen and solidified and all of that because again goes back to the nature of a lot of these females being very competitive very catty they could feel like oh my god like i'm the underdog or i'm not it and when it comes to the female ego it's out of this world right so if i feel like um, somebody else is getting the attention that I should be getting, or if I feel like you're not interested in me anymore for whatever reason, maybe you think I'm not cute, or maybe you think that I'm just not it. Like so many different things can be going on in our minds that could be leading us to the conclusion of, wait a minute, um, <laughs> I need to, I don't know, take on the challenge of convincing him to like me you know? and so it's that ongoing challenge or that ongoing pursuit of getting that man real back in that really has a woman chasing up behind a man because i have to solidify my spot back or my ego right my ego won't allow me to essentially be rejected right in addition to that you all and again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I know y'all can feel this. I know y'all can relate to it. Just hear me out. In addition to that, you all, it can also be the factor of 
damn. He must be the man. Now hear me out. Okay. And again, like the video. He must be the man. Not only could it go through our minds that, you know, he don't want me because he has a better options out there and all of that of women or whatever the case is, but maybe he has so much going on for himself that he is trying to protect himself from, I don't know, women such as myself, right? You're so booked and busy. You, you have so much success, so much money, so much wealth, so many assets that you don't have time to entertain a relationship, to entertain me, you know? And so I want you off of that fact alone. As a matter of fact, fellas, how many of y'all have told a woman like, yeah, I'm not interested in a relationship right now. And no, I'm not trying to get into all that right now. And that's when she's tried her hardest to like convince you like, no, no, you need to be with me. That's because she saw you as a type of guy that again was the man. What is the man? The man is the one who has the career, the business, the money, the success, you know, the accolades, the credentials, like you, you, that guy. So you're so much of that guy that you don't even have time to entertain a woman whatsoever. Let's say that you're not even exploring different or better options than me. Well, that's even more sexy because you're so disciplined. You're so focused that, you know, you're not even paying a woman attention whatsoever. So now I really want to chase up behind you to convince you that I'm actually the woman that you need to have a part of your life. Because clearly you got it going on. Clearly you have things to lose. You have things to protect. Which is why you're not even checking for me in the first place or any woman for that matter. So all of that could be tied into why these women are chasing up behind you. And it can go even deeper and further into uh, different levels and layers than what I've mentioned. But, you know, I just want to give y'all a quick little, you know, snippet, if you will, as far as um, why these women could indeed be chasing up behind you. But it's a whole bunch of different levels and, and layers to the conversation. And you all can feel free to also tell me some of your crazy reasons why women may chase you. You know, y'all let me know your personal experiences. But these were the three crazy reasons why women chase men and why your ex or women in general could actually be chasing up behind you. Okay. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let me know. Uh, could you relate to anything on this list? Let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And also feel free to chime in and let me know your own personal reasons why women chase up behind you. Okay. And it could be crazy. Name the crazy reasons why, you know, the women chase up, chase up behind you. Don't, don't name the generic things like, oh, it's because, you know, I got a bunch of money and, you know, it's because I'm, I, I'm six, six feet tall. And it's because that's, that's generic. That that's typical. Name the crazy reasons why that, that that would blow our minds, that would go over our heads, that we could never like pinpoint. You know what I mean? Like, let us know those reasons. But I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. And yeah, I look forward to hearing what y'all got to say. And also, you all contribute to that big D, good D energy by going ahead and tapping that link down below and getting that teach handily. That way you can upgrade, you know, your appearance. You can look good. You can feel good. You can be more confident and all of that. Click that link below. Okay. Teach Hanley got your back. It got you covered. All right. But I'll see y'all later. Much love and peace to my crown heads.